Hi there again. It's Friday already. The half-term holidays are already coming to an end and we're getting ready to live premiere the Mental Multiplication course on Monday. This is going to be really great for anyone who struggles to memorise those multiplication tables. So if that includes you, make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss out on your notification. You can join us for the fun. And for those of you wondering what a multiplication table is, here's a little taster for you. Now, when people start learning about multiplication, they come across something known as the multiplication table. Oh yes, I've done that before. Okay, you remember. Um, and sometimes people talk about multiplication tables as if there's more than one. And there's two ways of looking at this. Here we have what you would call the multiplication table. And if you look, you've got this big grid. I've got the numbers from 1 to 12 along the top here and the numbers from 1 to 12 down the left hand side here and what well, do you remember earlier on we looked at 5 times 6 yeah? yes then what you can do is you look at the 5 along the top here yes and the 6 down the left hand side and then have a look at where those two intersect, where they join. It brings you to 30. The six. That's right. The, 30. the 5 comes down and the 6 goes across and we reach the answer 30. Yeah. Good. And then let's just try it the other way around. If I went down the 6 column, but along the 5 row, when they intersect, I get to... 30. 30 as well. So you can see 30 is in both of those places. And this multiplication table can be used for looking up answers to multiplication problems, in this case, up to 12 times 12. Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. Now, that's what people call the multiplication table. And it can go bigger than that. So that you, you don't have to stop at the number 12. You could go on to the number 20 or the number 100 or even further. And the multiplication table would just keep getting bigger and bigger. And when people refer to multiplication tables, what they mean then is stuff like this. Here's what we call the six times table. So you've got one times six and the answer. One times six is six. Two times six is twelve. Three times six is eighteen. Four times six is twenty-four. So that's a times table that just works on problems that are something times six. And you'd have that alongside, for example, here, the seven times table. One times seven is seven. Two times seven is 14. And here's an eight times table. One times eight is eight. Two times eight is 16. And so on. And these are the answers that you'll see looking down these columns here. So the six times table answers are shown here. 1 times 6 is 6, 2 times 6 is 12, 3 times 6 is 18. 18. That's it. So that table is all in that column there. And the 7 times table answers are all in that column. And the 8 times table answers are all in that column. That's why sometimes people would say, have you learned your times tables? Or they might say, have you learned the times table or multiplication table? Yeah. So you can call these times tables or multiplication tables. They both basically mean the same thing. Yes. That's what tables are. <laughs>